Welcome to Mystery Dungeon Hack Review, three days. In this little hack, you'll spend some time with your friend Litwick. Well, three, three days, in fact. This is a really good hack. You're gonna enjoy this one. As usual, I'm gonna be very quick about this, because I already said this in the last video. Story is 10 points, gameplay is 5 points, complexity is 5 points. Each category represents different areas. Story for uh, how unique and how deep the story is. Gameplay for how balanced it is, for how the mechanics work, and how they achieve the goal of the hacker. And then complexity, how ambitious the hack is. Alright, let's get into it. Story. The story of three days is wonderful. Brilliant, even. It follows an Esper, working a normal 5 to 9 job, living in their home with their roommate Litwick. The day we are acquainted with our two characters, it is a holiday. So the two chat or Litwick reads a story for their new friend, getting to know each other and seemingly having a great time. However, when the sun goes down and Esper curls up, Litwick watches in its ghost form. At first, Litwick's words are that of a friend, someone caring for Esper, someone happy to learn about them, someone happy to see them so comfortable and satisfied. Then things take a dark turn. The Pokedex entry for Litwick is as follows. Litwick shines a light that absorbs the life energy of people and Pokemon, which becomes the fuel that it burns. To stay alive, to keep their flame burning, Litwick must leech off the life force of another. And here, Litwick is leeching off Vesper's life energy. And depending on the choices of the dialogue you make, they either feel sorry or they love it. Either way, they absorb some of Esper's life energy. The next day comes, Esper struggles out of bed, though doesn't mind it at first. Determined to go to work. Then Ludwig comes out, and Esper is reminded it is Saturday. Ludwig says Esper should go back to bed. Esper follows Ludwig, but protests. Then suddenly, something horrible happens. Esper's leg gives out on them and collapses onto the floor. Ludwig shows concern and quickly goes to Esper's aid. First they check if Esper is okay, then they say they'll be right back. They are getting an Orin Berry. Let me be clear, an Orin Berry, not an Oran Berry, an Orin Berry deals damage in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, not heal. Litwick is worsening Esper's state, and the poor fella doesn't even know their trusted friend is hurting them, slowly, and over time. Litwick comes back, Esper eats the Orinberry, Litwick helps Esper back into their bed, but not wanting the day to be a sour one, Esper encourages Litwick to hang out. Litwick likes this idea, and goes to get another Orinberry for Esper. When they came back, Esper has fallen asleep. At first they show concerns, wondering if they should stop, wondering if they have gone too far. Then they tell themselves to snap out of it. This is just another Esper. Dark. So once more, they either chit chat or Ludwig reads another story. And once that chat or story is finished, Esper goes to sleep. Ludwig laments to themselves as the night comes and the sun goes down. For Esper, they are fast asleep, happy to have made a friend, to have gotten to know their roommate more and, at least from Esper's point of view, has formed a bond. Litwick goes to the foot of Esper's bed, saying it is time, then apologizing, and, the says w and then says one final word to Esper. Good night. The story of Three Days is a brilliant piece of literature. The dark, subtle undertones and the reality and the rather morbid reality of ghost-type Pokemon in the world of Pokemon, where getting too close to one could be your downfall, your last mistake, as they steal your life force away. Esper could have never known their friend would betray them in such a way, and now they will never know. It is a beautiful, short, and tragic tale. One that tells you to be careful of the ones closest to you. That even your friends can do horrible, horrible things to you. 
I give the story a solid 8 out of 10. The tones, the dialect, letting us see what Esper doesn't see, to set an ominous, dramatic irony. As we know, the Esper doesn't know that they are dying. And by the end of the story, they are gone. Rest in peace, Esper. Gameplay. There is not much gameplay in this ROM hack. There is no big dungeons to go through. There is no puzzles, no mini games, and is solely focused on the story between Litwick and Esper. So the mechanics that the hacker made focuses on this, and it complements the story well. They built a brand new layout, one we haven't really seen in a PMD game, at least from the games I've played, in a style that reminds me of Undertale. The way the colors are bright and happy at the beginning, but slowly lose their saturation as the story continues on and gets darker and more tragic. You have multiple combinations of dialogue and choices that all affects the story. The outcome is the same. By the end, Esper's life force is taken by Litwick and is used to keep his fire burning forevermore. However, there is so much dialogue, so many scenes to find, and many ways you can alter the series event. It is beautiful. The only thing I could say is I wish there was a way to save Esper. If there is a way, I haven't found it, but it would truly be reminiscent of a choose-your-own-adventure. I give the gameplay a 3 out of 5. There are no dungeons, no items to use, and that, that does affect the score, but I still have a positive rating. The gameplay is not focused on adventuring, on facing wild Pokemon in battle. The hackers know where the gameplay should be, and it is the story with the multiple dialogues and multiple combinations that lets us learn more and more about both Esper and Litwick. And with that, I think the gameplay is brilliant. Complexity. To me, this is an ambitious short hack. The hacker really wanted one thing, to tell a story. And I think they did that fantastically. They even built and recreated an area so unique that really cemented to me that the PMD hacking community with these ROM hacks are special, that you could really achieve anything if you really put the work and dedication. That despite the hack takes around half an hour to complete the story, you can replay it over and over, trying new combinations, trying desperately to save Esper, or trying to learn more about Litwick and Esper. The usage of music, of visuals, lowering the saturation as Esper nears doom, and the emotional music of when that time finally comes. It's fantastic, it's beautiful. I cannot stress enough how complex the storytelling that is happening here. So I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. The amount of work this required for dialogue, the scripting, the pathing of the sprites, the custom sprites that they formed just for this story, and the bigger lore it also brings to light. It's magnificent. I love it. Conclusion. I give the ROM hack a total score of 15 out of 20. To conclude, I think I just have to thank dd 6 Giyu for this brilliant experience. Even on my free time, I found myself wanting to boot up three days and try in vain to save Esper. Once again, I don't know if there is a way to save Esper. If there is, I haven't found it. I love this story, and I love this hack. If you prefer dungeons, exploring, this hack might not be for you, but however, I highly recommend it for anyone that loves good stories to boot up this hack and play it yourself. I purposely oversimplified the story. It is so rich, so unique, I would talk about it forever. So go play it yourself. There is good humor, good tones, beautiful visuals, music is perfect. There's a great world building in there. It is such a good experience. And so I say go and try it. And shout out once more to dd 6 Giyu for this brilliant experience. Try it and good night. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. There is much more PMD content to come, as we are now fully delving into the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon arc of the channel. Next week, there will be another video, and if you want to see me playing these hacks live, make sure to head over to the twitch.tv slash 25 underscroll. Have a great rest of your day, and have fun adventuring out there. Bye!